Hello everyone. Welcome to Wondershare Filmora tutorials. In this video we are going to see that how can you actually make a video invisible in Wondershare Filmora. So the concept behind this is that suppose you have a raw footage that contains video as well as audio but for some duration of time you want to make the video invisible. So how do you do that? we have uh, two steps for this and in this video we are going to discuss one step so let's just see suppose i have this video file i'm just going to import it into my wondershare filmora so once i click on this plus icon it asks me the resolution or the frame rate if it does not match that of the project so what do you want to do do you want to keep the project settings or do you want to uh, keep the media settings here you can see that match to media. This is the media resolution 1366 into 728, 23 FPS. This is the project settings that is 30 FPS. I'm good with 23 FPS. So I just select the match to media option. Okay. Now what happens is let's just zoom in a bit into the track. So how do we zoom in? Either you can use the scroll button of your mouse or what you can do is use the control plus and the control minus keys. So right now I'm using this control plus key that allows me to zoom in. If I use the control minus key, it allows me to zoom out. Okay. So using control plus and control minus, you can actually zoom in and zoom out using control zero. You can actually bring up your stylus to the optimum level, the screen fit level. Okay. So let's just bring our slider over here a bit. Let's just show you this is control minus this is control plus. Okay. So what happens right now is this is my whole mm, video file. Okay. Now what do I want? Um, let's just actually get another video file over here. Okay. So suppose this is the second video file. Let's just get over, over here. Now, what do I want? I want the audio of this particular video file to play, but I want the video to be shown this one, the first video to be shown, but the audio, the second video should play. So what do I do? Either I can actually make this video invisible or I can simply just detach the audio and replace the audio. Detaching audio is also an option, but today we are going to see in this video, basically we are going to see how do we make the video invisible. So here we have this visibility icon. If we just click on this once, then what happens? You can see the media that is loaded is now this particular media that shows the screen on the side and all this thing. But if I just click on this eye icon once again, then you will see this kind of a desktop is shown. So this is how you make the video invisible. Only the video is invisible, not the audio. The audio will play of the first video only, but the video is invisible. Now what happens if you want to make the audio inaudible, then what do you do? You simply just export this particular uh, media. Let me just delete this media for a second and get it into the audio track. Okay. Or basically just get this media over here detach its audio and just um, this is the audio file it is in the audio tracks you want to stop the audio for this particular media right so just click on mute this is a mute icon this will mute the audio for the second file that is my importing folder but for the first video that is importing media files my video is disabled so the video of the second file will play, but the audio of the first file will play. This is how you can do a little bit of mix and match. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.